Hello, students and families. My name is Assistant Principal McMahon, and I'm going to be presenting to you today our Queens Collegiate Middle School Virtual Open House. So on our agenda today, uh, the pieces of the presentation, I will talk to you a little bit about uh, our school, and then I'll introduce our principal, uh, and she'll talk about the mission and vision of our school, what truly drives us, She'll talk about the core values of our school. Then it'll bring it back to me and I will speak to you about the academics and life at Queens Collegiate. And also attached to the email that you got this video in is a virtual school tour. So you can uh, tour the hallways and classrooms of our school virtually. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to our principal, Principal DeBay, who will share with you uh, what really drives us here at Queens Collegiate. So over to you, Mr. Bay. Good day, prospective QC families. Thank you so much, Mr. McMahon. I'm so excited to be here with you today. Um, as he said, I am Jamie DeBay, the principal of Queens Collegiate. I started this school with Mr. McMahon and a team of individuals um, well over a decade ago. Our express purpose and mission and vision was to ensure that every child in South Jamaica, Queens could graduate high school and be prepared and ready for college at their time. We don't ask where the children come from. We don't look at test scores. We are not a screen program. And we don't apologize about that because I believe that any child can succeed. And it's our mission and vision as a school is to take every child that is in this community and welcome them with open arms. And through our school's progress and our mission and vision, we will help them to move forward. As a school, we believe in Mahatma Gandhi's quote, be the change you wish to see in the world. And we believe that we are a part of the change here in South Jamaica, Queens. We want to ensure that all of the children and families that come in feel welcomed, that they feel a part of our community, and that they contribute to the community in positive and uplifting ways. We are a six to 12 school, which means by choosing us, you are potentially choosing somewhere for your child for the next seven years, and that's a big decision. I'm a parent of three children who are in or graduated from New York City public schools. I understand this process. I understand the decisions that you're facing, and I understand um, the, the selections that are out there. At the end of the day, Queens Collegiate, you'll find, is a small school that cares, and we have strong academics. We will ensure that your child is met where they are and that they can progress to their next step. And so whether your child is, is um, currently performing at double level fours or whether your child is struggling to read, we will help them where they are and help make sure that they can move to their next step. We are that small school with a heart and we deeply want to inspire our children, empower our children, and care. And you'll find that the staff here is like a family, and the, the community is very much like a family. And once you're a part of the QC family, we take care of our own. And we want to make sure that each child is deeply cared for and loved. And so you'll hear from Mr. McMahon and some of the sixth grade teachers today, and I'll talk to you at the end of their presentations. Thank you very much, Ms. DeBay for sharing with us uh, what really drives our school. So parents do want to know about, uh, and students want to know about the basics about Queens Collegiate usually. Um, our school starts at 8, 10 a.m. and we end school at three o'clock p.m. on every day except for Wednesday. On Wednesday we have, we start at the same time at 8, 10 a.m. but we end early at 1, 45 p.m. and all students go home at 1.45 p.m. so that our faculty can engage in professional development uh, to help us improve our craft and improve teaching and learning for your children. We have three classes, only three classes uh, in sixth grade. Uh, we have three classes in seven, three classes in eight. That means less than 100 students in our sixth grade and it uh, really is a, a small school community and uh, we believe it's a small school community is wonderful as a wonderful environment for students to learn in. We have an average class size of about 27 students per class. We do have co-taught classes for our students who have ENL and special education needs. And our students do have the opportunity to share a locker with another student if they would like to do that, do so. We have lockers at the back of each of our classrooms. 
And we also, for our middle school only, have a uniform dress code. And I can share a little bit about that now. So for a shirt on, on top, student may have a white shirt, a navy shirt, or a royal blue shirt, which is a bright blue. For pants, students may wear either a khaki sand color pant or a navy blue. And the same thing for skirts, khaki, or navy blue. For physical education, our students wear dark blue shorts and a white shirt. Another basic is uh, our schoolies, our school food. We have recently, in the last year or so, up, our, we got an upgraded cafeteria and serving area and upgraded school meals. So we really have wonderful school meals every day with fresh salad bar every day. Uh, and so we're very, very lucky to have that at Queens Khalid. Now, moving on to more detail, the foundation of our school is our strong academics. And we really, um, this is the core of, of our school. We the goal for us is, is college, even come, students coming into sixth grade, because we are a six to 12 school. So we go from grade six all the way to grade 12. And we know uh, from the high school level what our students need coming into high school to prepare them uh, to get through high school and go to college. So we even begin thinking about the kind of academics and the kind of curriculum that is needed uh, from the middle school level so that our students can, be, can do well in high school and get, go to college. So for just a little bit of the academic highlights, uh, we have that college preparatory curriculum. Uh, we have arts and physical education every semester. We do believe that our students should always have arts, uh, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. It, it creates a, helps to create a well-rounded student uh, who then really is prepared for college from a standpoint of having a, a diverse understanding of the world. Uh, we have adults who know and care about your child and that helps academically, uh, it's very important. You know, we do have that small grade. Uh, teachers know students well and, and what their academic needs are and what their academic successes are so that we can help uh, knowing those things to build uh, your child's learning through the three years of middle school. We also have a strong student culture. Uh, being a small school, our students know each other very well and can support each other, uh, both socially and academically. We have a have really built a a deep college access for all program where we talk to our students about college and about a career and what what selections they may want to make doing that at the middle school level is very important so that the students can really start understanding what it is why it is that we are learning the core subjects that we're learning and how they benefit them going into high school and into college and we have queen's community house which is a lo local partner uh, who has an after school program it's an outstanding program that's been with us for years and they provide academic enrichment um, for our students and also enrichment in the arts. And it's a really wonderful program if your child would like to take advantage of that. Just a little more detail at each grade level about our advanced coursework and enrichment. In grade six and seven, we have rigorous standards in our core classes, math, ELA, science, social studies. And then we add to that with our full arts program, visual arts, theater, and music. We had health in grade six, technology in both grade six and seven, and then journalism in grade seven. And then in grade eight, we expect all students to take the living environment regions, every student. Uh, this is part of our accelerated program. Over on the right, you'll see just a few mentions of our enrichment programs, our, our focus on the arts, science club, musical, Champs, sports, or after school, Queens Community House after school is just a few examples of the enrichment opportunities that we provide for students at our school. This is an example schedule uh, for a sixth grader. So basically, our this is not you know a student may have will have a schedule probably different from this, but it will contain these things. Uh, periods may be different, but this basically gives an idea of what each sixth grader will encounter through the day as a general uh, proposition. So first period, a student might have English and the student will have English every day. And then when we have what we call an A and B day schedule. So you, if you look at second period, for example, a student might, would have, will have every day, every other day, an additional ELA class. So every other day we have an additional class, both in ELA and math. And uh, that helps us to really support the development in, in English language arts and mathematics, which is critical to success in high school and college. And then opposite of that, 
on the next day, so in an alternating A, B, A, B, a student might have, for example, health. Students, all students do go to lunch third period. That is common. Um, then fourth period, student might have math. Fifth period, maybe science. Sixth period, all students do go uh, sixth period to physical education or their arts class. And our students will take one semester art and one semester theater. And that class will happen opposite their physical education. So physical education is all year. Um, for example, on A day and on B day, a student would go to their art or theater class. Then seventh period, a student might have technology on A days. And then that extra math class we can see as the B day class. And that every student will have that somewhere in their schedule, uh, the additional class on alternating days. And then, for example, social studies is one period class, so that might happen eighth period. So this gives an example, this is an example schedule. Your, your child will have all of these things in their schedule, maybe different periods um, or the alternating days may be a bit uh, different, but this is the, con the content of a sixth grade schedule. Just looking ahead, uh, thinking from sixth grade forward, uh, students will have three years of ELA, social studies, math and science, an arts class every year for all three years. Uh, students will take at least one year of health and technology, living environments, regions required for all students, and students who do have outstanding performance in math um, may be given the opportunity to take the regents algebra in eighth grade as well. Culture, so Queens Collegiate culture, it, it can really be summed up as we're a family at Queens Collegiate. We, we think of ourselves that way. We think of our families as part of our family. Uh, we are such a small school uh, that we know everyone so well, and that really is the fundamental dynamic in helping us to, to really be a family. One of the things that we do, uh, because we are very close-knit, is we have what's called restorative circles. So if a student is struggling emotionally or academically and they need support, we get a couple of adults together, a couple of students together, um, a family representative, so that we can talk about what it is a student needs support with and are, as a community, as a, as a kind of a snapshot of that community, a few people working together really can work to help the child and support them. We also have a very collaborative approach to our school culture. We want to work with our students. We want to hear what their needs are. We want to work with our families, with our community, um, so that we can work together because we believe that, um, that with all of our hands in that work, that it just makes it so much more supportive for our students. And I'll end with a quote uh, which reflects Principal DeBay's mission and vision, uh, be the change you want to see in the world. We want our students to be able to, we want to help provide them with the skills that they need to go out and make positive change, uh, to have their own voice. And we, we look forward to providing that for your child. We certainly do hope that Queens Collegiate is the right fit for you and your child. And we hope you make that choice for next year. Thank you. Hi, my name is Miss Kay and I teach uh, sixth grade math at Queens Collegiate. One thing that I love about Queens Collegiate is um, although we are housed in a very large, beautiful building, we are very close knit uh, students, staff and teachers. You know, the relationships that we build with you guys as sixth graders really stay strong throughout middle school and high school too. Um, something in particular that I love about teaching sixth grade math is that even though we are the youngest in the school, um, that just means that we have more fun. I hope to see you at QC next year. Good morning, QC. My name is Miss Lee, and I will be your sixth grade English teacher. I have had the opportunity to be with Queens Collegiate for about 12 years. I am a middle school teacher who loves reading. I hope you get the opportunity to come join our small family and we hope that you enjoy QC as much as we do. The greatest thing about Queens Collegiate is that we are a small community and you will have the opportunity to have one-on-one -on -one care from each and every one of your teachers. We look forward to seeing you next year. Have a great day, QC. Hi everyone, my name is Ms. Bizarro and I teach sixth grade special education at Queens Collegiate. My favorite thing about QC is that we're a really small school and that allows us to be a close, tight-knit community. Um, some things that you could look forward to in sixth grade is uh, during regular school, we go on a lot of cool field trips like bowling, ice skating, and to the movies. Um, 
While we're in remote learning, um, we try to make it as fun as possible. We do a lot of interactive lessons through Nearpod and Kahoot. And I look forward to seeing you next year at QC. Hello, everyone. My name is Ms. Blagojevich. I teach 6th and 7th grade social studies at Queens Collegiate. In the past, I've been the 8th grade history teacher as well. Uh, one thing I love about QC is the diversity of the student population. We have so many students from all over the world, which is interesting to me because I get to learn more. And one of the things I really enjoyed teaching so far this year was the history of our ancestors, about the early men and women of the Paleolithic time, the Stone Age time. I thought that was really cool. And we're also learning now about the ancient river valley civilizations, which has a lot of cool history with Egypt and Mesopotamia and China and India. And outside of that, I hope you enjoy this video and I hope to see you next year as well. Have a good Hi, day. my name is Mr. Davis. I am happy to be uh, the sixth grade science teacher at Queens Collegiate. Uh, one thing that I love about Queens Collegiate is that our school truly feels like a supportive community. Um, it's very important to do well academically or to do your best, um, but we are also interested in the overall well-being of our students and actually of one another as staff members as well. Uh, one thing that you'll enjoy about sixth grade is the variety of activities that we perform. Um, in our weather unit, we make our own weather measuring tools and we go outside uh, and measure the weather around the school. In our rocks and minerals unit, we use candy to simulate the rock cycle. Um, we use our classroom aquarium to learn about topics in our ecosystems unit. Um, actually, each year we also hold a science fair where students can conduct experiments that um, interest them the most. Uh, so I really hope that you choose to explore science with me next year at Queens Collegiate. Be well. Hi, I am Ms. Ferris. I am the theater teacher at Queens Collegiate. And the thing I love the best about QC is just our QC family. It's such a nice, caring community. Uh, we really care about each other. Um, so at QC, you would have me more than once over your time at the school, and we will create things using acting and directing and design. So I really hope to get to welcome you into the QC family. Welcome to QC, middle schoolers. We're going to show you a little bit of the middle school floor for those of you who will be here and for those of you who won't get to see it for a while. Ms. Savastos is going to be our middle schooler today. So, once they've gone through all of the entrance procedures, we're gonna head up to the second floor. Mr. Paul is gonna say goodbye to us for a minute as he heads up to high school. And Ms. Savastos is gonna head out. You can see there are markers on the floor to tell you where to go. They're telling us to stay on the right side of the hallway, just like you're driving a car. And here we are, second floor, entering Queens Collegiate. Once you come to the T of the middle school floor, if you turn to the left, you can find our main office, which is located in room 210C. Ms. Savastos is saying hi to our friendly office staff. And right next to the main office is Ms. Dubay's office. She just passed. And then Mr. McMahon's office. So you can find the principal and assistant principal for the middle school right next to the main office. She just realized she's on the wrong side, but she fixed it. Here's the girls' room. Gentlemen, you will be heading upstairs in just a second. This is the dean's office. Um, a lot of classrooms as she walks by and Ms. Bellow's office, the guidance counselor. However, Ms. Bellow will be working remotely this year. So there are more classrooms on the second floor, but Mr. Paul wants to take us up to the third floor. Directly above the girls' room is the boys' room. He wants to remind you to wash your hands. 
Here are some examples of classrooms. This one has a lot of desks, but only certain desks are to be sat in, so you can spread out a little bit. Use the other desks. And in this room, there are fewer desks that are already spread out, so you can see what the social distancing in the classroom will look like. We can't wait to have you back in the building. This is just a little glimpse of the QC that we love. You've heard from some of the sixth grade teachers. You've heard from Mr. McMahon, the assistant principal of the middle school. And you've seen a brief video of what our school looks like in blended learning during COVID. Um, just so you know a little bit about what remote looks like during COVID, remote for us is every period of every day we are having live instruction. And so every day your English class or your math class or your science class has live instruction. Sometimes it's only for a quick check-in, five to 10 minutes, and sometimes it's a full lesson, you know, 15, 20, 25 minutes. Our periods are 47 minutes each. And um, what we do is we do the lesson at the top and then students have time towards the end of the period to get the work done, similar to how they would work during regular school. Um, we are not assigning a lot of extra homework, rather it is, you know, classwork and things that can be done there while the teacher is still available for assistance or children can decide that I need a break right now. I'm going to finish this work later and I'll bring it back tomorrow. We do have office hours four days a week where our staff are available for any questions and our parents and students overall have said that they have no problem getting access to their teachers when they have questions and that they often get more than enough instruction. So that's just a little bit about what our instruction looks like in COVID. Um, after COVID, we hope to go back towards our normal, you know, having class in person and being able to do those in-person activities. We will then be able to bring back in the champs and the athletics that we have and the robust programs that we have on in person. I hope this gives you a brief view of what Queens Collegiate Middle School is. Um, we look forward to taking your questions and we hope that as you make these decisions, you find the school that's the best fit for you. If there was any advice that I could give you as a parent that's been through this multiple times, both in the middle school and high school levels, I would say make sure that the school is a good fit for your child. And so Queens Collegiate is a great fit for children who need a small environment. We're a great fit for children who who have a dream and aren't really sure what that dream is or have a dream and know that I want to be a doctor or a dentist or you know whatever it is an engineer um, we have programs and we have activities that will engage them and help them to get to that next step um, we are the school that cares and we are a school where your child will be known if your child would do better in a larger school with tons and tons of opportunities that may not be Queens Collegiate um, we are that small school with um, personalized opportunities I hope this helps we look forward to seeing you <laughs>